Heck, I figured I would show you guys how my sander transitions. So all I have to do is pull my support off. Put in the little holder I made. Pull down on the handle. Pull out my wheel. Put on my flat planting. Put my belt back on. I built this entire knife sander. Now that's only partially true because I didn't make the wheels. I didn't make the glass. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this is uh, fireplace glass. So it's meant to take the uh, heat. It actually dissipates heat, uh, which is good for my knives. But it also is so hard that uh, it doesn't create um, a little, uh, what do I want to call them, grooves. If you just use plain steel in here, this thing would definitely have little whoop de doos in it and your knife blades don't turn out flat. So then, lift it up, lay it down on the side, move my fancy dancy phone holder over. I don't need this thing right now. So, this part is where you actually just want to get rid of all of this and make it uh, 60 grit. I don't have, I said 40 grit earlier in other other video. I don't have any 40 grit. I do have 40 grit, they're 36 grit actually, but I only use those for wood and micarta, stuff like that. Anyway, that on. And now I'm gonna have my fingers at the thick part because I don't want to sand my fingertips off. And my finger is about halfway, so it's still picked up here, and this is now ground away from the edge. So I can, oh, I take that back. You see where my flat spot is? That's where I want my thumb to be, and this other finger. If you're down here, you're actually going to put too much pressure, and you're going to uh, create a red shape on your flat. And I want my flat to stay as flat as it is. Then I just put it up there find it uh, equalizing and you're going to do the same thing you're going to put pressure this way and then you're going to put pressure this way and as you can see i started getting a pretty even sanding mark so i'm going to keep doing what i was doing so you can see i'm getting a little more Sanding down along this edge than I am up here. So I'm going to give a little bit of what would you call it? Uh, pressure towards the spine. Ah, see there. Got a little bit to go up here still. Start to get warm, so I just want to do a dip. When you're using a 60 grit belt like this, it doesn't take long to remove the uh, when they cold roll this stuff or however they get nice even thickness or hot roll or whatever. I think it's a cold roll because I don't have scales when I get the knife blank. So I gave a nice uh, bar stop. So uh, I have a little bit of a, a little bit here, I think, right in there. So I need to get all of the little divots out of there. We don't want any anything except the nice standing marks. And that looks good. It's really good. Then you just turn it upside down. Look over this way. And this time you can see I got my right hand is on it. So I'm still doing the same thing. I'm applying pressure nice and even. Try to find out where the sander is making this move. Most of it went right in here. So I'm going to apply a little leverage towards the point of pressure. I do 
give it a little, yeah, see? Now I've got a, a bit here. That means that this piece of steel wasn't flat when I got it. So it was bent a little this way. So remember I had some stuff left over on this end and now it's in the middle. So that tells me that my bar stock wasn't flat when I got it, which is no big surprise. And it's coming out of a mill. It's not pre uh, it's not pre-sanded or pre-milled or pre-anything, it's just off the rollers. about where your point comes out because now that I've sanded on these two sides there's no way these two points are going to line up so watch this see if I can see it oh man they came out perfect <laughs> oh gosh yeah well they weren't perfect when I started so hey <laughs> this thing definitely ground more on one side than it did on the other but ultimately, it doesn't really matter a whole lot when you go to heat treat. Uh, I'll do, I take this down to final finish, by the way, because D2, I always heat treat it in stainless steel foil. And so all it has, oh, and I also put a little a match in there or a piece of paper to burn up and suck all the oxygen out. Plus, it leaves a bit of a film of the carbon from the paper or from the match on the surface of the blade. Anyway, so I don't have... Uh, loss of carbon or soft spots in my edge so or in my in my knife but then all it takes if i use 400 grit or 600 grit on this i can start right off with 400 grit and all i have to do is remove that oxide uh from the the surface i don't even think it's an oxide i think it's just a a bit of loose carbon on the surface because there's no air in there to allow for the oxide that's so, yeah, I still got to do my final uh, grind with the, uh, and you can see my grind line isn't exactly beautiful right there. But like I said, when I come back and I do my finished sanding, I'll take all that out. So this is Jeff Conti, your YouTube knife mentor. I want you to go out and have fun making a knife. <laughs>